Hello friends in YouTube. Today's video is about sudden unexplained death in epilepsy patients or SUDEP for short. Some people call it sudden unexpected death, but that's not really accurate. If somebody has a seizure while they're swimming and they drown, that is unexpected, but it isn't unexplained. We don't really know what mechanism or mechanisms lead to SUDEP. Most often people are in normal health and they go to bed and are found in bed the next morning having died overnight. Sometimes there are signs of having had a seizure. Sometimes there's no sign of having had a seizure. There are cases of SUDEP where another person was actually in the room and the patient with epilepsy lay their head down and looked like they went to sleep but they actually died and there was no seizure. Other times, the recorded or witnessed SUDEP, the person with epilepsy has had a brief seizure, probably nothing out of the ordinary compared to what they ordinarily would have had with a seizure, but they have a brief seizure and they die. Now, obviously SUDEP is, in a sense, it's an outcome. It's a result. There are probably multiple processes that lead to SUDEP, some of them involving respiration, some of them involving the brain control of the heart, some of them probably mechanisms we can't even think of right now. But regardless, this is something that happens with a certain frequency. Exactly how frequently this happens depends in part on whose study you look at. Some studies suggest the rate may be somewhere in the range of 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 people per thousand per year. Other studies suggest a much higher rate, like 10 times higher. If you look at well-done broad studies, it probably is in the range of about one per thousand per year. And that's a good number to use and keep in your back pocket when you're thinking about this. That means over the years the risk is not exactly small. It's more frequently seen in people who have uncontrolled seizures particularly convulsive seizures, grand mal seizures, or generalized tonic-clonic seizures, however you like to refer to them. So you can imagine that we want to work as hard as we can to try to eliminate or reduce the number of generalized tonic-clonic seizures that somebody has. We want to keep their medications under good control. Some medications may be a little bit more linked to the risk of SUDEP, but that's not really clear in all the studies. There are some studies that suggest sleeping on your stomach increases the risk of SUDEP. Sorry to have such a morbid talk today, but I think this is a risk factor that people with epilepsy and those who care for them should know about. Thanks for listening.